who would have thought a year ago that scientists from all over the world will get together to discuss misinformation around a pandemic, that we would do it from various disciplines, from different backgrounds, from different locations all around the world, and that we would do it on a virtual platform without meeting in person. This was quite an interesting and quite an unusual conference. And I would like to congratulate uh, the organizers for firstly coming up with this idea and then for organizing it so well and for executing it so professionally. Thank you very much. I learned a great deal. I think the whole concept of infodemiology will still evolve as we all um, develop the notion further from our own specific backgrounds. I think what I learned from this conference especially is that misinformation around the pandemic is not something that we can tackle from our own disciplinary silos. We would all have to work together and collaborate across our disciplinary backgrounds, uh, open ourselves up for uh, input and experiences and insights from um, other disciplines and from other areas, and that we stand to learn so much from each other um, from where we are all dispersed around the world with our own experiences of dealing with misinformation and with, for dealing with this pandemic. I think the most important thing is that we remain committed to use our expertise in whichever fields we are to address this issue and to keep addressing it and that we keep, keep trying to find ways to work further to enhance our understanding of how misinformation is produced how it is consumed, what it looks like, and how it spreads, and especially how we can counter it. So thank you very much to everybody for participating. Thank you for everybody that shared their knowledge. Um, there's so much to digest, and I think we will still be able to draw insights from this conference for many years to come. So thank you very much again, and I hope to see all of you again at a conference or on a screen in the very near future. Thank you.